Remember shoulder posture, knuckle draggers. We never want that internal rotation. External rotation, shoulder moves back and open as you row, not caving forward. <sighs> Fixing posture, one rep at a time. Mic check, mic check. Holy crap, I got it right this time. Welcome back to Workout 22, you found it. Something heavier, part two. We did the five by eight deadlift, now we're into the five by eight back squat. We started with 25 reps, crept to 20, 15, 12, 10, we're at eight. We're gonna go as low as six and five rep ranges, trying to just add more weight to that. There's no point testing your one RM, that's just showboating. It's not worth anything and it's dangerous. You might blow something out. So we're gonna stay in those rep ranges, get down to maybe fives, and then go back up to the high volume and try to add more weight to where we started. Power to weight ratio. You wanna be as strong as you can be for as light as you can be. Get too big and bulky, you can't run worth a damn and you're too slow, but you can move a Big Mac truck. Get too frail and light, yeah, you can crush a marathon, but you can't actually lift any weight. So we wanna optimize your genetics for exactly the body frame, strength, performance, style that you should be. Respect that, learn it, and we're gonna get there together. Woof, enough of that. Quick warm up today, that's a lie. Let's talk about the workout. Five by eight, like I said, back squat. Can be dumbbell, kettlebell, front rack squat, whatever you have at home works. Chin up, we all have the bar. I'll be going chin up with yellow band, the smallest for three sets, and then try two rounds body weight, just to give me a little more volume. Hollow rocks or C rocks, we're staying for 20 to 25 reps. Bicep curl, why not? I'll be doing dumbbell bicep curl, creeping up the weight as we go into something heavier today than I've done. I've usually been 30 pounders for that. So I'm gonna go 35, 40s and 50 pounders just to get some load today because the theme is something heavier. And then uh, cheat row, use a little momentum into a row to allow yourself to move something heavier than we would with a full strict form. So I'm gonna be moving this pig of an 80 pound kettlebell for my row. That's all we do, five times through and that is the workout. Warm up is just a few moves I wanna work on to get prepped and then we're gonna do a, the same as last workout, three sets of 10 reps, just standard uh, lightweight, moving the body for, through squats, row, curl, I can't remember the rest, but meet me on the floor right now, let's go. Okay, for the quick mobility warm up, just need a mat for right after that, you're gonna need your two dumbbells, the power band, and chin up bar, if you don't have the chin up bar yet, but you definitely have these power bands, loop the band around anything high, we'll be doing some banded pull downs, that's the modification for the workout today if you don't have the chin up bar, that banded pull down from anywhere high. If you don't have that band, then you're just gonna make do trying to copy our patterns. Let's start on the floor. Start with that quad baseball stretch. So we come over, top knee touches ground. Try to grab that back bottom foot. Give it a little pull, pull, pull. And then use your core to crank you around. Drop this top knee, pull, pull, pull. And just keep doing that for a few times back and forth. It's pissing rain outside again. Seems like it's always been raining but we're through the worst of the max heat waves of the summer, so I'm not complaining. We hit a 32 Celsius in here for a workout one day. I almost fainted on you guys in the, it was either the first, second or third workout. I was trying to hide it, but oh my gosh. So I'm happy it's just a free air conditioning temperature in here now. Okay, that's beautiful. Now let's dig the heels into ground. We'll do glute bridge with the reach. So arms are by our side. You're gonna glute bridge, roll over the one shoulder, just like a nice little wrestling suplex. Tap above, tap above, and keep that up. Boom, boom. Reaching at 45 degrees above the shoulder line. Pushing through the opposite heel to get you the rotation. Awesome. Okay, popping up in our straight lunge, kick the front leg open 90 degrees, and let's get some of that groin and Achilles stretching. So when the foot's real close, remember, we can fall in and get a lot more Achilles stretch. I like to actually put my hands on the leg in the back of the ankle here and pump that leg. And you can already see this leg is mimicking a real deep bottom end squat, which is great. And then if we go further, you don't get that stretch, but you get the groin stretch, which is also nice for deep squatting. 
Again, you guys should be at home having been practicing your three minute squat holds daily. If you're stuck working at a desk, get up, a little movement medicine every hour. You gotta move around at least six to 12 minutes, do something. It's a lot better than bulking up into one little big burst of activity later in the day. But if it's a morning warm up or a workout, all the power to you. Okay, next side, lunge, open 90, heel close. And you're going to get all ankle right now. Okay, foot further away, slide in, feel it on the inside of the legs. Okay, finish up there. Clear that mat out of the way. Tall plank, get your calf stretches. Pulse, 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 just a few times. Few times, boom, boom. Okay, then we'll posture up for a scap. Push up, boom, boom. Break the shoulder blade in, slide away, in, slide away. Good enough. Facing forward, regular squat with the arm high. Squat down, touch floor, touch floor. Remember, we never want to lean. That's a sign of being really tight through the ankles. Let the hips and the ankles get you down for good low depth. One more per side, boom, good. Okay, the power band, if you don't have that, you just have to hold on to something nearby. It can be a railing, uh, treadmill arm, whatever it's going to be. Otherwise, we're looping our biggest green band up high, higher than your head. Again, that upper body distraction I was telling you is so worthwhile, efficient, and these bands let you do all that more than just helping you on the pull-ups. So we're going to do the first scap row again, quick 10 reps. Nine, ten, and then last workout or so, I think we opened up for pec stretch. This time we're just creeping under the arm, and you can easily just hold on to something, like I said. But this, you can just sit here passively now. The loop on the wrist means you don't have to squeeze the band, and we're just falling away into our outside leg, letting these lats get pulled and stretch, and it feels amazing. Uh, uh, ten. 10. And this is the main stretch where if you get someone to do one side only, you'll see them reach up and the distracted side is now like a half of a finger length higher just by being passively stretched open. All the fascial netting is loose. And then this side you catch up on, which we'll do right now. And that just lets you be free, lets you move through proper ranges of motion without being resisted by your own, own tight body. It's quick, I was 10. Arm goes right up over the head, fall away, fall away, fall away. Just hold onto a wall, the edge of a wall inside a doorway, doesn't matter. But the power bands are the best way to do this. Awesome. Leave that there. And then for anyone that's got the bar, we're just gonna reach up to the bar. You can keep your toes on the ground or you can go for full hang and we'll do the scap pull up. So full hang. Shoulder blades and lats, retract and drop. Retract and drop. Don't use your elbows, no biceps. Toes on ground, just practice. Some people, if you're really tight, can't get your overhead presses, you don't even have this mobility to start. Three, two, one. It's something you'll need to train in. I'm happy. Let's get into that three set warm up. Just two dumbbells I'm gonna use. 10 squats, we'll put them down. We're gonna keep this band high and mimic the banded pull down. This is what people are doing if you don't have the, the pull up bar yet, but you've bought the bands. And then we'll do weighted bent over row really quick. If you don't have the bands of the bar, you can do dumbbell back fly. And you've probably learned that by now. You're just stuck in back fly and bent over row patterns instead of getting to use all the pull muscles from upper body. 
All right, dumbbells up. Blah. I got two 30 pounders, nice and easy. And we'll get through 30 total reps of everything. We should get our legs pretty pumped up for the heavier squats we're gonna do in a sec. This isn't a race, this is warm up. So you can hang out, you can pause. Oh yeah, use it to feel good. You wanna feel accomplished, like you can check the box, graduate into the bigger reps and exertion coming up. One more. Okay, I'll put these down for a sec. And again, if you don't have the bar, you just don't feel like getting comfortable up onto a bar, these are the moves you would do. Single hand, right? You can mimic a chin up by pulling single hand down. I can go two hands in, grab the straps, make a capital letter A, back way up. And that's the chin up pattern. No problem. Like I said, minimal amount of muscles on the body, 10,000 different exercises made up in the industry to work those few muscles. Good. So two arms or one arm there, depending on how you feel. Bent over row. Cleaning up onto my shoulders, 10 squat. Pull downs. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Bent over row. And again, totally cool if you're doing all these workouts so far with just dumbbells or body weight. Doesn't make you a bad person. You're just. Uh, You're just a fitness sheep like all of us, except we're out in the meadows dancing around and you're just stuck in the corral. It's fine, but there's a whole world out there waiting for you. So we're ready and waiting when you get there, when you want to get there. Final 10 squat. There we go. Pulls and rows. If you want to simulate wide grip pull up, right, you can mimic a wide grip pull up up to the bar. Chin up is nice and narrow. Neutral grip does it all the same. So I'm just telling you what would be nice and optimal, but you can definitely get by without all the big equipment, if you don't have the money or the space, primarily. Good there, final bent over row. There it is. Okay, then we're gonna get a sip of water. We come back to the first set when you're ready with your setup. I'm going barbell back squat. You might have double kettlebell, single kettlebell, one heavy dumbbell, two dumbbells, every variation's fine. The chin up, that banded pull down we just did is your mod. Otherwise, we're up on the bar with the band, no problem. Hollow rocks in front, can be sea rocks to be safe. Maybe weighted if you can get through 20, no problem. Bicep curl, I'm doing dumbbells. And then our cheat row, I'm gonna have just the kettlebell on the floor. 
using a little leg to help. You can do that method or you can go off a bench. Piece of cake. Get that all assembled and I'll see you back for set one. Okay, set one, I got 175 in the bar for eight reps. Remember, it's range of motion is your end goal game. You wanna train in that range of motion. A 500 pound quarter squat is bull crap all day long. A lighter, cleaner, full range squat is way better for the body. So we're training that in. Don't kill yourself. Let's go. Set one. Digging the feet in. Keeping tension on. If that's lighter, you can go for more reps. Nothing I write down is law. All right, if you're just stuck with two little dumbbells, go to 16 reps, do whatever you gotta do. Uh, there's the pickup. Utilize those cheats I mentioned. More reps, slower reps, or paused reps. Okay, just my small little band. So I can't go too long up here, but it gives me a little help. Chin up grip, pull up grip. So narrower is the shoulder line, full hang, chest touch bar. All the way up. Ten is good enough. Remember, 90 degree elbow, half of a rep, three quarter rep is chin over bar, full range of motion, chest touch bar. Perfect. What's next? Hollow rocks on the ground. Down in front, I'm just gonna test my body weight and see how I'm feeling today. In frame, full pike position. Remember, C rock is your safety. You're still just upper body tight in that hollow. That's enough for me. Good, good, good. Bicep curl. So I'm gonna start with 30 pounders. Keep it pretty strict, maybe cheat the last two or three. And the chin up is gonna play into fatigue on this move too. So you're not gonna have the best performance on either when you're doing both the same. Don't let that elbow swing around. This is a rested bicep curl. Got to pin it back. Make the bicep do work through the whole range. I'll swing too. Good for the first set. And then a cheat row. So. Pull, pull, pull. Three moves that are gonna knock down our overall total strength. So I can brace into an upright or brace off my knee. And I'm gonna use a little leg bounce. Touch the ground. You can't see my back there, but back is loaded, stiff as a board, no rounding allowed. That was 10. Mm. 
There it is. First set of five complete. I'm gonna go to 185 on that bar. Water break breather. See you back for set two. Okay, set two, I'm going for 185, controlled eight reps. You guys are doing what you gotta do at home, slow or lighter, doesn't matter. Just work with me, we're squatting right now. Begin. Halfway. Last rep. Nice. Oh, get off that surge. It's coming. Here it is. Ooh. I don't know if you guys have heard of the term super compensation. That's the act of actually getting stronger between workouts when you rest enough time. That can happen on a little microscopic basis between sets. So what felt rusty and horrible in your first set is gonna come back, body's gonna be super compensated for it. And suddenly the same way, woo, will feel easier and eventually you just start gassing and everything just becomes harder. But a good little trick is after work, go back to your warm-up weight and try one or two reps and see how perceived easier it is in, on your brain. It should feel like butter, and that's that effect. 10 chin-ups. Go. Body. I, didn't, I, meant, I said brain. I meant body. How much easier it's perceived on your body. All the way up or not at all. If you know you can't make it, just call it. Or take a break until you know you can get it. Okay, hollow rocks on the ground in front. I'm just staying at full extended, hard enough for me. Know your variation. Coming up, coming up. Bicep curl. Ooh, take as much time between elements as you need, but no, it's kind of a circuit. 35 pounders now. those elbows move 15 before it gets ugly okay and then our cheat bent over row that the train informs stability cheating is never good but cheat tactics let you squeeze out extra reps which is great for getting a little extra work when you need it 
We're gonna start opposite arm this time. I'm gonna brace into my upright. Legs are my power. This one's sometimes, sometimes called the lawnmower, the lawnmower row. It's kind of more of a 45 degree cable angle, but same idea. Body works as one unit together. That. That's just two. Ooh, I think everything for me is going to stay the same. I'll go 40 pound dumbbells next set. Water break breather. See you back for set three. Okay, back for set three. This is 185, stayed the same. It hasn't gotten any lighter, but to my body, it should feel a little lighter provided it's been more than three minutes since you squatted last. So let's see if that is true. Get your squats, let's go. Yep, feels lighter. Halfway. Last rep. Blind back up, blind back up. Got it, got it, got it. Catch your breath. I'm gonna shut up for a sec. No talking for me. Get your chin ups ready or your banded pull down or your back fly. That's good. Take on my opposite foot. Chin up grip, shoulder width. Begin if you're ready. Get your lats pulling first. Biceps and forearms take over at the very top. Oh, seven, a little pit stop, a little pit stop. Oh, now this band is not helping at all. 10. Excuse me. Okay, hollow rocks down on floor. Okay, remember C, one, two, three. Take your pick. It can be very small as long as you're rigid. Oh, that's 15. Uh, let it flush. And if you're hanging with that, 100 hollow rocks in five sets. Should feel pretty nasty tomorrow. Whew. Bicep curl with 40 pounders now. So I'm still trying to be legit. Just going to drop some total reps. Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh. 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 Uh. 
Eight. Oh, a little time out. Oh, that was it. That was it. There it is. Ooh. And one just knocks out the other. So do well here, that hinders. Do well there, this hinders. Starting on right arm. Ooh. Are we good here? Yep. Brace or brace into the body. Or you're on a bench. Uh, where's my sweat towel? Gonna need that. Uh, brace in, connect the pieces. That's getting ugly. I'm gonna switch that to eight per arm. That's it. Water break breather, set four coming up. Okay, welcome back, set four. You've either gone light enough so far, you're still climbing, going heavier, or you're starting to feel that plateau, you're just hanging on, surviving. And maybe, most likely, we're gonna have to drop off in the fifth set. We'll find out. 195, squat coming up for eight. Let's get our squats going now. Make them pretty. Last one, stand strong, take some air. Ah, beautiful, backing up, no look. Feel it, settle, clear the bell. Oh, I think I'm going for eight. I don't think 10's in the cards right now. Oh, there's the surge, ooh. Don't faint. Oh. If you ever get tunnel vision in the gym, hit the deck fast. Get low and get ready for the whirlwind. I've seen that a fair share of times. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Dirt nap taking a sleep on the floor. Here we go. Go for eight really nice chest to bar. I have to get high enough so my mic doesn't hit the bar, which means I'm going way up. That's it, that's it. Hollow rock, hollow rock. If you're bored of hollow rock, you can just mix in a side rock. Do half and half, no problem. Buckle out of my spine. Three, 
18, 19, ah, 20. Those are getting hard. Oh, that's my gift for you tomorrow. Oh, oh. Okay. I kept 40 pounders. I thought I'm going to 50 in the fifth set. I don't know what that's going to look like. As long as we can get above eight reps, that's our minimum today. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Mm. Strict. Ooh. 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 Bicep curls are not an easy move. I said I'm only doing eight of these on the ground as well. So here comes eight, and then the fifth set, and then we're done. Oh, light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, hope someone's blasting some heavy music somewhere for me. Okay, getting in here. Here we go. Row. Oh, remember shoulder posture, knuckle draggers. We never want that internal rotation, external rotation. Shoulder moves back and open as you row, not caving forward. Fixing posture, one rep at a time. Brace. Great. That's it. Fourth set over. One more to go. Water break, breather, final time. Rest during those ads that play. Come back when you're fully recovered. Rock and roll. Okay, we made it. Final set, fifth set. I'm up to 205 for eight reps. Make your reps picture perfect. Remember, you can stand at the top, braced, as long as you need to to get more air to squeeze in some extra reps. As long as you're not racking the bar, go for it. So nice and perfect. No knee caving, no knee wobbling. Pretend I'm watching you. Watching you. Zooming. All right, let's go. Get serious. Halfway. Get some air. Five and six. Last one. And that was our 70th rep today. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Feeling good. Feeling good. Heart is pounding now. Cardio? Cardio? Who said cardio? Who said cardio is just machines? Uh. Oh. Back to the first leg. Oh, eight chin ups. That's all I got. Yeah. 
six, seven. Ooh. Ah, get out. Hollow ah. rock on the ground. We're supposed to be the rest station, but it's not really. Get that buckle out of my spine. Good. Everyone with me? Still on pace here. Still lasting. Not late for work. Not late for school. Is it a Sunday afternoon? When are you doing this? End of the night? Did you break the work up into two parts? Let me know. Oh, oh. Oh, done with that. Go away, Matt. Ooh. I kept 40 pound dumbbells because I don't want to embarrass myself with 50s swinging them too much. So I'll just see what I get. Eight's the minimum. Get some air. The end is near. Elbows don't move. They're glued to a wall. Eight. I'll swing two for negative. Light bulb hit me. Power to weight ratio. Schoolboy. If you've seen Schoolboy, the arm wrestler. Unassuming. Soft look. Twice half the size of everyone else. This guy crushes dudes twice the size. Embarrassed Larry Wheels. That is tensile strength of your genetic potential. It's not some ballooned up, looking strong aesthetic. It's performance based. That's all. Okay, last rows. <sighs> Eight? I said I was doing eight. Remember, if you're a beginner, do whatever feels good. Otherwise, if you're yawning through this, waiting for me because I'm suffering here, make it harder on yourself with the weight you have. More reps or slower or longer pauses. Oh, we're finished. Two more workouts, and then another special workout is coming. Will it be the hardest workout yet? You're gonna have to wait and see. Love it. Love pushing with you guys. Leave comments. Tell me who you're doing this with. Share with one or two other people. Challenge your friends or family. Woo, Peacock Army. Let's go. See you guys back for next workout.